Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to talk about the toilet aboard my boat. Um, anybody that's spent any time around boaters would know that for some reason we always seem to get onto the subject of toilets. Maybe it's because they're a bit different on a boat and you have to deal with it yourself. Who knows, but anyway, I thought I'd make a video about it. Um, so, my boat when I originally got it had a pump out toilet but the tank was in an extremely iffy condition so I got that removed and I've replaced that with a cassette toilet which is what I'm going to talk about today. Um, I'm basically going to cover how I empty it, how I um, fill it up and reprep it ready for use again and actually how to use it because when I've heard people stay aboard the boat they've never seen a toilet like this, haven't got a clue what they're doing and I just thought I'd run over that anyway. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is to remove the top section from the bottom with a little white lever at the back of the toilet. I'm then going to pick up the bottom section and take that off to the marina. Right, so now that I'm here, the first thing I'm going to do is to twist the grey pipe up and remove the white cap from the end. Um, it's important to make sure you put the white cap somewhere you're not going to lose it, as in the past I have managed to lose that down the drain and I definitely didn't want to put my hand there to go and collect it again. Um, there's a little white button that you notice by my right hand which lets air into the tank so when you're pouring it down the drain it doesn't tend to blub too much and splash about which um, on an Elson point which is as high up as this one it's very very important to try to avoid it, um, unnecessary splashing around. Um, the next thing I do is open up the trapdoor and I get the hose here and give it a good wash around to get anything that might be stuck to the side of the tank off and um, the main reason for this being is because in the summer obviously it's quite hot inside the boat and you can sometimes get a bit of a smell coming from the toilet so trying to get the you know everything out is probably a good idea. So once that's done I gave um, I closed the trap door up and I pull that down into the toilet pushing the little white button again. Now maybe I'm a little bit OCD here but I tend to like to give it another really quick uh, wash out again with the hose before um, I'm done. And uh, sometimes something else that I like to do is give it a bit of a shake just to loosen anything else off and then obviously pour that all down the drain. Right, once that's all done, screw the white cap back on the pipe and fold that back down to its original position. Now, because I'm a good boater, I tend to like to leave the place how I found it, so anything that may have splashed up while I was pouring um, the waste down the drain, I tend to wipe um, into the hole um, with this thing here. And then obviously flush the else and pour Now, because I like to be hygienic, um, obviously I wash my hands, as I'd hope that everybody else would. And after I'm done here, the next thing to do is obviously to pick up the tank and head back onto the boat. Right, now that I'm here, the um, next thing to do is to put the toilet back together. There's two little grey hooks at the front of the tank, which the top locates onto, and then the back clicks down. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to click it down into lo its location. Um, I then um, crack open the trapdoor a little bit before I pour the blue chemical in, as I've also had an accident with this one in the past where I end up looking a little bit like a smurf. This is also the reason that before I open it up fully that I would fold down the lid completely. So 
So the next thing to do is to fill up the flush tank. Now obviously you just remove the little white cap on the right hand side of the toilet, pop a funnel in and I've got um, a couple of bottles that I keep drinking water in on the boat and if I haven't used it all up when I know I'm going to be going to the water point what I do is pour the leftover in the flush tank so it doesn't go to waste which is what I'm doing here. Um, one of the things is, is it's not very easy to see how much water is actually in the tank and it, it goes from looking not very full to very full quite quickly on that last little bit. So it's a good idea to stop every now and then and lift the funnel out to have a look to see where it's at. On this occasion there's still a, um, a bit more space for plenty more to go in. Now I'm feeling like that's probably getting to the point what I would call full, so I'll stop right there. And then obviously pop the white cap back on. Okay, so now that's all done, I'm going to go and talk about how to actually use the toilet. So if you're going to do a wee, um, the first thing that I'll do is lift up the lid and obviously you're just going to do your business into the toilet. Um, once you're done you've got the little bellows on the left hand side which pumps water around and you pull the white lever at the front which opens the trap door up for it all to go down into the tank below. If on the other hand you was doing uh, number two uh, I like to use what I call the paper cross which is four squares split into two twos um, in the bottom of the toilet so when you do your poo into the toilet, it then folds up into the paper and doesn't cause a mess everywhere. And then obviously you just do all the same procedure again. Okay, so I hope you've all enjoyed watching this video. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe down the bottom corner there, and I'll hopefully catch you all again next time. I now need to go and take care of some business, so bye-bye.